Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we are going over what you guys should be expecting in a final release of iOS 14.2. Now, this is a super important update because it's obviously the next big major update of iOS 14, and it's bringing us a ton of new features, changes, and much needed improvements over iOS 14.0.1. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you all about the awesome 2020 iPhone SE giveaway. The Giveaway Club is giving away a brand new 2020 iPhone SE, and all you have to do is check the link down below and enter via that link. You absolutely do not have to purchase anything from a website to enter into this giveaway, but if you guys do want to purchase something from their website, you can receive a 5% discount on orders of $20 or more before taxes and shipping. The code for that discount is UPDATES. So guys, don't miss out on this awesome giveaway of the new 2020 iPhone SE. Check the link down below for more info. Okay, so let's go over some of the new features that we've seen already in iOS 14.2 betas. So we've seen the new control center redesign around the media widget, and that was actually quite a big update. Now you can read into why Apple made things just a little bit bigger and why they kind of redesigned everything, but I personally believe that it's because there are bigger iPhones on the horizon here, the iPhone 12. There have been reports of sizing issues specifically with smaller devices, so I'm going to guess that Apple clearly had a bigger phone in mind when they were kind of doing this redesign of the control center. But that is one major new change that we saw within iOS 14.2 beta 1, that total redesign of the media control controls within the control center. Now also in the control center, we saw the new Shazam music toggle. And this toggle is actually really, really cool. I didn't think I was going to use it, but it's really cool. If you guys want to figure out what song is playing in the background, all you have to do is activate that tile and it will listen for whatever music is playing. Now, once it recognizes the song, it will send you a notification of what that song is and then automatically disable itself so it doesn't continue to listen out for songs and ultimately waste battery life. Now, at first, as I said, I thought this was kind of unnecessary as a feature, but I actually used it a few times and it's definitely something that maybe we didn't ask for specifically, but might need when we are in search of new music. Now in the second beta of iOS 14.2, we saw a ton of new emoji added and I personally love this year's additions. I'll have all of the available emojis on screen, but if you have a favorite, let me know what that is in the comment section down below. There's a ton of new and exciting options here. Now, these new emoji are exclusive to iOS 14.2. So if you aren't currently on the betas, you might have a hard time seeing them in text and obviously you won't be able to use them in your emoji keyboard. So it's definitely a requirement for you to update to iOS 14.2 to receive these new an emoji or I'm sorry, emoji in your keyboard. Now, there were also a ton of other smaller new features and UI changes sprinkled in to the first couple of iOS 14.2 betas, and I won't go over all of them, but those were just three of the most major new features and changes that we saw in the first few betas here. Now, another major component of iOS updates is performance, and this is actually something that has steadily been improving in iOS 14 betas and now onto iOS 14.2 betas. In the first couple of iOS 14.2 betas, I've noticed way better performance over iOS 14.0.1, and I've actually noticed better performance on older devices as well. So my iPhone 7 Plus and also my iPhone 6S are both running way better on iOS 14.2 betas versus iOS 14.0.1, and they also seem to be a little bit more efficient as well. So as far as performance goes, iOS 14.2 is definitely bringing improvements, and I think that over iOS 14.0.1, users are really going to have a good experience when it comes to having faster phones through an iOS update. On the other hand, the biggest thing that Apple needs to worry about is battery life. Battery life has been consistently an issue, I think solely because of the new widget feature in iOS 14. Now, obviously there are other factors as well, but it's proven that widgets are now eating up most of a user's battery because they update so much in the background. 
Now, Apple is working on a fix for improving battery life, specifically with this new feature, but so far I haven't seen anything major as far as improvements go in iOS 14.2. So with that being said, should you hold off on updating when the official release comes out for iOS 14.2? Well, if you're already on iOS 14 or iOS 14.0.1, there's not going to be worse battery life. It's just not going to get any better. So really there's nothing to lose here via an update, just the extra features, changes, and some better performance on the table when you go to iOS 14.2. So guys, those were some of the new features and changes in iOS 14.2, and we also went over the better performance you should be seeing when the official version comes out. Now, do keep in mind at the time of filming this video, battery life is still an issue, but as I said before, it won't make things worse. There's just not a fix yet for that battery draining widget feature. Now, if you guys do want to hop on to the betas right now to check out all of the new features and changes, there is both a developer and a public beta available right now. So I'll have links down to both in the video description down below. Just be aware that there are still some bugs and UI glitches in the betas right now, but those should be worked out when we come closer to a final release. Now, speaking of final releases, we should see the official release of iOS 14.2 pretty soon. There is an Apple event next week, and I expect to see some new iPhones at the very least next week. So if they do release iPhones, we should be seeing an official release of iOS 14.2 next Friday if iOS 14.2 ships with those new iPhones. And if not, we should be seeing this new version of iOS coming in the next couple of weeks after a few more betas. But anyways, guys, that was a short preview of iOS 14.2 and what you can expect from this new version of iOS. But if you want to stay up to date with all of the future updates and the exciting iPhone 12 release next week, definitely get subscribed and also hit that bell button as well to stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest. If you guys have any questions about today's video or any other questions, you can of course leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys ASAP. Also, some more things to check out is my Twitter, where you can tweet me at Jeff Updated. And we also have the new updated podcast, where episodes are released every single Friday. I think right now we are on episode four, so go check that out in the video description down below. So guys, thank you all for watching today's video, and I hope to see you in some future content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.